we should have better boundaries. Are we friends? Aren't we? I think that if we are, in order for this to work, we shouldn't be. The two of you had to obviously learn how to work together and collaborate for this film to bring it to life. So I'm wondering, would you say that making a film is like having a baby? Yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, it, it is. definitely felt that way. It takes a long time. It takes a, like, I didn't, I don't know, this is, Ed's worked on a lot of movies and I've, this is my first time being like so involved with the movie. I've had parts in like smaller parts in movies where I'm there for one day and then I'm like gone. And then the movie comes out and I don't have to do anything. This is like the most involved in terms of like having to do so much EDR and like press and stuff so it's like I really feel close to the like gestational period of <laughs> of it and so yeah it definitely feels like oh we're pushing this is this is our our labor is the <laughs> of press junkets I like this analogy I like the the thinking of that whole process as gestational I think the big difference the big <laughs> the big difference between a movie and a baby is that when a baby arrives it's not a finished product. It is, it is a, it becomes a mm -hmm. lifelong adventure from there. Whereas when a movie comes out, it's done and, <laughs> uh, and everyone moves on with their lives. <laughs> I'm speaking as a parent um, yeah. and as someone who has made movies, they're very different, but the analogy is a fun one. Well, I would say they're very similar in that uh, much like a woman giving birth to a baby when she's giving birth to the baby, uh, to the creators of the film, when the film comes out, there is a lot of like shit that comes out too. Yes, <laughs> yes. Don't know about there's a lot. lots. That's <laughs> true. We don't really talk about that, but there's a lot of shit. No, it's a lot. <laughs> Patty, I want to ask. I know that you had talked about reading the script and and saying that you were worried it was going to turn into like a rom com cliche. So I'm curious, what is like the worst possible outcome of what this movie could have been? Um, I think it's that Anna falls in deep love with Matt and then Matt actually finds like Anna's like oh uh, now that I love you so much I want you to meet my family here's my 17 year old sister like <laughs> what and she's she's just like she's actually just starting school and then he falls in love with her oh and even I'm younger happy, right like, happy I'm like no take the baby <laughs> be together and then my character is just like an old woman by the sea at 26 years old, just like completely decrepit. And Okay, but that's a sequel I want to see, though. I want to know. There you go. Story. Me too. Yeah. I want to make this movie. <laughs> Sometimes people just connect. It's not about being attracted to one another. So how many friends in their 20s do you have? I don't know. 